That's right, you killed him. Man, I gotta say, that last episode really surprised me. It's way more sophisticated than I was giving the show credit for. Though it's just a silly, zany, Ali McBeal type show. And I gotta say, I don't think Ali McBeal pulled off anything this good. You know, three deaths for the price of one. In its entire run. Like, maybe towards the end of season three. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know, right? But, like, maybe that point. That was pretty good. But that took him over two and a half seasons to get to that point. So this, this was impressive. This was impressive. It was an episode four, which is typically when some of these shows really, they either hook you or they die, right? So I got to say, I was super impressed. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into this episode. I'm not expecting that every week, but like they showed me they're, they have this within their capacity. So I have uh, high hopes for, for this show now. Like it was, it was funny. And it's innovative and it reminds me of Valley McBeal and they've got that going for them. I don't, I don't know about the stadium power. I've already mentioned that, how much I think the stadium power will exist for this show. So far, so good. But they also show me they can they can trick you. They can pull the wool over your eyes and do something very interesting, which they did at the end of the last episode. So anyway, so I'm not expecting that for this episode, but I think, you know, three or four episodes down the road, they might hit us with something again. So we'll see. Best I can say is it's not getting any worse. Uh, I guess that's something. Feeling dirt? Yeah. Okay, I guess. I heard all that, though. Hey, I heard your visit from The Rock. Wait, I'm 13. I'm mostly wrestling, right? Woohoo. Man, The Rock is still big, and this is what, 10 years later? Whole world. What could a guy possibly want to see more? <laughs> yeah, really? Name one thing guys want to see. Uh, Louis, we're going to go with boobs. Oh, I see. Was that guy part of uh, Family Feud back then? Or is this just a knockoff? I haven't kept track. You're cute. <laughs> Janitor, this guy is always bothering me. Don't look at him. <laughs> What's your point? Wrong. <laughs> oh no, I have a. That's one. <laughs> he got off on the wrong foot and can never get back on a good foot, ever. Resident and first class teacher's pet. Ass kisser. That's right. Look at him. That's right. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> that was very disturbing. Why would you think that's unnecessary? Well, he's Thank dead. you, Minion. Dorian. You Don't worry about it. Martinez. Yeah, that was the name close of the enough. Well, actually, that's the, that's the manufacturer of the clipboard. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> I, work, man. Yeah. Work. I hear that. The minion's pissed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's two. <laughs> Don't make it three. Okay, now, Rowdy. Really? When you're not here, he does it. Really? That's what we're doing. I think should... I'm borrowing a sweatshirt. That's right. You'll never see that sweatshirt again. Excuse me. What did we agree you would do whenever I left a room? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Check that ass out. That's better. you goddamn right. You don't get bored of this ass. Nightly and ever so rightly. Ah, what up, dude? Shut up, motherfucker. And some man says something stupid that a woman hears and punishes him for. You're damn right. This wasn't one of those times. Yes, it was. What did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you think that Turk and I slept together? Because I'm a nurse? Been because... smashing. No, just because you guys Maybe the loud moaning every night. Dude, Turk told me. No, <laughs> I didn't. No, I swear. Look, he, he is so... Really? You're going to throw it over the bus? Correct him? Well, you know, I've been really busy at the hospital lately. I've been too busy to correct him. Is that how you see this relationship? As a <laughs> mad dash to the finish line? <laughs> Into that bedroom right now, and I promise you, you will be walking sideways. Now, is that what you want? Sure. No. I want us to know each other better than we know ourselves. See what you started? You want me daily and nightly and ever so rightly. <laughs> so anyway, I think you should let the kid meet the ladies. Yeah, too late, dude. You're the one who told Kelso that Mr. Martinez was dead? In the name of, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, were you thinking? Really? People. That tip's procedure was for Mrs. Blit. Oh, yeah. fuck have insurance. Mr. Oh, I see. on the other hand, have great insurance. Should I talk slower or go get a nurse who speaks fluent more? Wait, you gotta show him the ropes, man. You know, be just what in the hell do you want from me, huh? See something, say something, man. Yes, clearly he wants the father. You get it. See, so you gotta, you get, it's not his fault, man. You gotta keep people in the loop. See something, say something. Like, that's what you gotta do. If they taught you this in the land of fairies. And How is I supposed to fucking know this, man? 
but you're in the real world now. <laughs> Dick. Such a sociopath. Don't say it. I still think I was right. The man says something stupid that <laughs> another man hears and punishes him for. <laughs> this wasn't... That's it! Oh, no. You know what this is? This is me washing my hands of you. I thought I you already had, like, three episodes in a row. Yeah. I thought you had three episodes in a row, man. Really? Oh, my God. Her mom's in the room, ain't she? Lock her up. Oh. I hate him. Yes! Yes! Lock her up. I'm very proud of you, Doctor. Just look at my badge, Doctor Turk. <laughs> this is my roommate's badge. I must have switched this morning. We were oh, that's a great anecdote. Here's your journal. Then your kids can read about it when you're dead. <laughs> yeah. In a moment. I've got a new menu. I promise to go easy. On. I'd love for you to join me for a round of golf tomorrow. Really? That'd be terrific. <laughs> 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 That's on point. I a little something something. I see they pulled Somebody out the uh, packing machine so we can see it better. Thank you. I'm going to buy her a really nice pen. Wow. Oh, she loves to write. Let she him sink. She handwrites all of her letters because she says emails. Speaking of washing her hands, let him sink. All I got to do is find time to get out of here and maybe I'll buy her one. <laughs> There's more to healing than what's in the books. I talk. I sing. Oh, so them. you know everything now, Ask huh? them what their hobbies are and tell them ghost stories about an old sea captain. So that's why they keep dying on you. He's not dying. That lying bastard. Somebody did something. <laughs> that's her new secret power. Felt weird knowing that Dr. Cox and I would never be working in the same room again. Check her out. Look. Every time I think something, the opposite happens. That is weird. I am so non sex this weekend. You're cute. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stop using that superpower. Wait, Newbie, the reason I was all bent out of shape yesterday. I accept. Hmm? Don't interrupt me. <laughs> Come here. You Mrs. Blood over there? Needs the tips procedure. Encephalopathy and jaundice thanks to bottom line thaw. Yep. I hate Robert Kelso. <laughs> I hate his family. I hate his <laughs> The guy that cleans his vaguely racist little lawn. If you go to fucking fact, uh, golf with him, you're dead to him. <laughs> That's right. If you go to golf with the other guy, <laughs> you're dead to him. I will say, and this is just a me thing, okay? I'm sure it's different for a bunch of other people. One of the reasons I'm having trouble connecting with this show, like I have with other shows, is I don't understand G.A.D.'s obsession with Cox. Like, I guess, like, you know, they laid it out. They had the fantasy sequence. He basically, he's a father figure to him. But, and, and Cox is hilarious. He's very funny. But this pursuit, J.D.'s pursuit of, of wanting his approval is really wearing thin with me. Like, I, I guess because I never needed a father figure because I had a father. Like I said, it's a me thing. I don't understand the, the motivation here. I don't understand the obsession for me, especially, like, if there's a person that doesn't want me around, I don't force my company on them. That's just who I am. It's wired in my DNA. Somebody doesn't, if somebody's irritated by me, they don't want me around, they make it clear, they'll never hear from me again. I'll never bother them again. This guy is unrelenting. Like, no means no, and JD doesn't give a shit about no means no. He keeps trying to force himself on a dude who clearly doesn't want him around. Now... What's obviously happening here under the surface is Cox kind of likes him and kind of wants him to pursue him. So he's like, no means yes in this situation. But that whole dynamic just makes me uncomfortable and I don't like it. It's not how I'd ever live my life. Not that we have to live our lives the way people on TV do. But what I'm explaining is why I'm not connecting with it. Why I don't find it interesting. I'm not enthralled with it, you know. Ironically, I feel this way when somebody's pursuing somebody romantically and it's the same thing. The whole Princess Leia Han Solo thing. Like, I... That made, left me cold. I was never interested in that romance because it's stupid. You know, it's just not a dynamic I'm interested in. That's my issue with this show so far. Is every episode, he's trying to get in with Cox and Cox is not interested. And it's just the same thing so far. It's been four episodes in a row. So, you know, I want him to find a different note to play. And like I said, last episode was phenomenal. But we still had that dynamic last episode. He keeps coming to him for advice and Cox doesn't want to give him advice. He's, like, eternally bothered by these people. And that's wearing thin for me. So we'll see what's going to happen. And it may just be I need to keep, you know, I'm kind of binging now to get ahead. I may need to put some space between watching this episodes of this. Because, like, I think a bunch in a row, it really is very noticeable. And this is not a show that's ever intended to be binged because this came out before the binge formula was, you know, coalesced, right? Now they're, they, they're a little bit more mindful. They would do it more sparingly probably now. But like I said, we'll see. But I'm, what it may be the solution is I just need to watch these further apart, put some time in between the episodes. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because otherwise, the show is awesome. 
Check out these ass slides. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit. Even get there. I fell on you. <laughs> right up the ass. I was born. <laughs> The doctor have a box where they actually keep all this junk. <laughs> Is that like next I've to the sound box? I know people work in the medical profession. They've got stories, man. Oh no, that's not Carlos Penn. I had no time to sell. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh shit. Wow, really? Really? <laughs> so you did it, huh? Yes, you went sir, golf with Is this supposed to be a foursome? This doesn't work. I don't know what you're trying to pull. But I'm not a guy you want That's to That's my ask. I'm kissing here. Okay, relax. It's just a friendly game of golf with a yeah, couple right. of guys. You're carrying this bags. You're not playing. It's a ride. Oh, there's the <laughs> phone. Oh, oh shit. Really? <laughs> wow. That I did not see coming. Why would you play golf with this motherfucker? You know what? He's got nothing to say. After all, he's here too. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, I do. You're dead to me. And watching his face as I kick his words. Oh, I see. Oh, well, it's the most fun I can have without being forced to cuddle after. <laughs> Love this guy. For the record, no, I'm not a hypocrite for being here. Yes, you are. Just let your game do all Your game is going straight in that tree. <laughs> nice. That's even better. That was great. Oh, please don't hold the <laughs> yeah. I'm chatting. Maybe you raise your heart rate for me? What do you say? She's going to get busted so hard. What am I doing? <laughs> this is stupid. Here they come. She's going to free those puppies. <laughs> you can give this man a heart attack. <laughs> the sound effects are so good on this show. It's all Looney Tunes, right? But it's fucking great. Dumbass. <laughs> Damn. You're fine. The day I finally beat his uppity in some board. Hey! I love that uh, he thinks every day, every week he thinks he can win. But there's the rub. The rules are there for a reason. You break them all. That's right. <laughs> he was putting in that work back there. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass too. You know, hospital shuts down and who are we helping then? Worst game of golf ever. I'm talking about having to listen to these motherfuckers. Really? Not bad. Damn it! It's about. I mean, the fact he was able to land a ball right on top of that fucking structure. You know. That's for the patient. Yeah, that's terrible. Jesus, dude. I could probably do better than this. I've never golfed in my life. I go back to that hospital day after day is because I care about the. Yeah, right. It's about your ego and the paycheck. You've got a lot of potential, sport. You st He does call her by sport. That's true. It was he was he was not singling out uh, what's her name, Elliot. You have to sink this for the win, Cox. How is he possibly you know close? Oh, him, not him. Okay. Do you have the stones to sink a putt when you have to? Do you? <laughs> How many times did I shoot that? You can't CGI. That's right. Knock him the fuck out again. You can't shoot that like CGI these days, or like like you can these days, right? That was practical. Him walking away is practice. How many times do they have to shoot that? I need to know. I have magic quests. So you were showing him. How many she had? It's the first one. Almost one. <laughs> you know what? Cox, as a matter of fact, he shouldn't even be putting you in that situation. Right. You shouldn't be telling her about your problems. I'm right. Screw Cox. I mean, you're not afraid of him, right? Hell no. No, it has nothing to do with fear. He wants his approval. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. That's four. <laughs> Three. That's five. <laughs> How dare you argue with me? Still not. That's right. You killed him. All right, we're through here. Wait. Really? Right. Time of death, 620. Yeah. Dumbass. I was wondering if her story would get out. Apparently, everybody knows now. Carl, we got to <laughs> talk. Talk later, dumbass. We can talk later. Are you trying to set him on fire? What's with all the candles? It's about getting you better, okay, Gordon? It's about his ego. I want you to do a wallet biopsy on her, and if the insurance doesn't check out after the nursing home before she so much as gums down a single God cup. damn. That was the moment I realized how Dr. Kelso truly saw these people. Yep. Can I have a prize check right. 74-year-old female? It's about his ego and the 
the business. <laughs> it's a body bag. <laughs> Bagger. Hilarious. Their visual gags are the best. In the lost and found box. There is no lost and found box. There's no. Dude. Yeah, there is. Dude. Oh. Wow. I think you were this close to getting everything you yeah. wanted. And this is what you wanted. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dumbass. And yet you come in a token of love at all. It was an ass. Yep. And now you're never getting the ass. Open and honest, and our relationship is more important to you than having sex with Yeah, you. so see how you've been manipulated? Yeah. <laughs> Are you coming? Yeah. <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> My manipulation worked, yes. I'm afraid I have just an awful taste that got a Fucking, uh, the word got around. <laughs> I'm waiting for the butt. There is no butt. So is everyone else around here. The butt's in the ass box. So want my help, I'm on board. What are you kidding? It's way too big of a risk for a PM. I just want to see what team you were playing for. So it was all yep. a test. It usually is with this son, bitch. As I watched the two of them, they weren't battling for patience or insurance. I Did I choose your insurance or without insurance? I can't insurance. taste it. Taste my ass. Right versus wrong. The dark side versus the light. Okay, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> exactly. I knew what they were doing. Been waiting for this moment all my <laughs> That is terrible fight choreography. In terrible costumes. In terrible hair. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> they got him being Chewbacca. Wow. I'll teach you to respect this institution. Kick his ass. I hope you learn from that. You're fired. <laughs> Why would he be Luke? You're suspended. I will Second cut you down. Me. It looks like a permanent spot just opened up on the golf course. Fuck off. Actually, sir, I'm not really that into golf. Well, yeah. Dr. Dorian. Yeah, oh, you heard his little bitty, itty bitty. I think feelings. I liked it better. <laughs> That's six. That's one for me. Really? Touch my hand. That's two. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> I was going the opposite direction, but like they still got it, right? <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the old janitor thing, but it's so weird and quirky. I, I like it, man. I like it. It's weird, but I like it. And hopefully cops will be suspended for a while so we can have some storylines. Don't revolve around fucking JD sniffing his jock every fucking week. So, I mean, come on, man. Let's do something else.